call in 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. We're going to be talking about how to buy real estate, how to get your first deal, what to look for. I'm talking to you today about the retrade. It's called the dirty retrade. Y'all know what a retrade is? No, what's it mean? Retrade, Robert Cisco. 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 Cisco with a C. The retrade means you're, that's right. Renegotiating the purchase price of a real property. We'll be talking about that today how to stay in the deal, how to keep the deal alive. Nobody likes the retrade. If you're a seller, you got to watch out for it. If you're the buyer, you got to know how to do it, okay? It's a dirty, nasty game, but somebody's got to do it. You know, in the back is you're going to be standing up and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, that's right, man. Here, you want to put it right in here? Yeah. <laughs> Just be part of the show, John. Okay. So, look, look, right now I'm working every Monday, by the way, every Monday I try to come to you to share with you real estate investing made simple. The reason why is because I know that real estate, <clears throat> real, real, it is real estate. Don't confuse that, by the way, with owning a home, okay? When I do this show, I'm not talking about owning a home. I'm not talking about a shopping center. I'm not talking about a strip center. I'm not talking about a mall. I'm not talking about a hotel. I'm talking about an apartment building. I'm talking about income producing real estate, okay? Now, Ben, the reason I called you in here, man, is I don't see one thing here on Boynton Beach that sold for more than, like, 111 a door, like nothing. 177, a, no, 89 a door, 76 a door, 72 a door. If it's Boynton Beach, dude, it's freaking horrible. Okay, and we're at what 170 once we do the rehab. Yeah. Okay, so I brought Ben in today because because right now I'm working a deal right now. Okay, this deal has now it's into it's basically into deal fatigue into deal fatigue. The deal took too long. I'm trying to buy the deal with exchange dollars. You probably heard me talk about Haran Point. Okay, I'm trying to buy the deal. I did that. And the deal, the deal, the real estate, okay, the deal is not looking so real anymore. You know what I mean? What is real to me, okay? Number one, real to me is it's going to produce income from month one. I remember what I've said in other, show, other shows. I want income producing. I want something that produces income that will pay debt down over time that I can stay in for long duration if necessary. I'll never lose money on and the number one thing it's got to do is it's got to produce revenue from month one. This isn't, we're not building stuff, we're buying income producing real estate. We're buying something. In this case, this property is 1989 built. We found it about three months ago. Loved the deal. Loved it when I drove it. Loved it when I visited. We were willing to spend $2 million in the deal uh, to, to improve the property. That was fine. The price we thought, we knew the price we were overpaying for the price. But there's some things that we missed in the deal. For instance, we knew that there was a 28-year-old roof on this building, okay? And what happened was, and today I'm talking about the retrade. In fact, the people that are selling me this deal might be watching this show, and they're going to be like, that son of a bitch, okay? Well, here's the deal. I don't retrade on properties until I have to. And I told these guys going into the deal, dude, I will not retrade you. I don't retrade deals unless I have to, okay? I get married, me and my wife have an agreement, 12 years goes by, hey, 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 there's some things we didn't think about. <laughs> let's, rework, let's rework the deal. Like, there's nothing wrong with reworking a deal. If the state of California would rework the deal with their firemen and policemen, they wouldn't be paying people $150,000 to be retired for the last 20 years. And the state goes broke. You understand what I'm saying? You have to renegotiate your deal sometime. That's what the retrade's called. So we went into this deal. Okay. Good location, like the property, like what I got to do. I did all the underwriting. We're going to spend money. We'll make 7% a year while my money sits there. We're willing to spend the money. Oh, my God, we did the roof, and the roof came back, and the roof was how much, Ben? 800 to a million dollars. $1.1 $1 .1 million. You see, Ben says 800 to 1 million. The highest bid came in at 1.1, which is the number I should remember. 
which is the number Ben should remember. 1.1, plus you know it's gonna probably be more than that because we're gonna find out something else is wrong with it. Never take the lowest number. Drop it out of your thinking. It's gonna be $1.1 million, Ben. <laughs> okay, once you pay for a roof enough times, you're gonna be like, dang, it's gonna be a $1.1 a $1 million, okay? I would never repeat the lowest bid again, ever. So we're in this deal. Okay, we're in this deal. We'll take your call, by the way, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. I want to help you buy real estate, and I want to help you buy it the right way. And right now is the time where you need to be very, very careful, okay? So we find out the roof is going to be $1.1 million, and the guy's like, why didn't you tell me about the roof earlier? Dude, the roof is 28 years old, okay? It's a 30-year roof. I knew that when I was negotiating the deal, that it was a 28-year-old roof. Remember, I don't retrade people unless what? You have to. Unless I have to. You know what I'm saying? Unless I have to. And in this case, when we did, when we did an inspection of the roof, we found out that this 28-year-old roof, by the way, which should be good for 40 years, they only guarantee it for 30. It should be good for 40 because I got roofs that are 28 years old that aren't in this kind of condition. Is that right, Ben? That's right. Okay, and I said, hey man, here's the deal, bro. I'm ready to roll, I'm ready to close, I'm ready to go hard, but here's the situation that we has. In fact, this is not just my situation now. I'm showing you how to retrade. This is your situation, and the situation is this. I need $1.1 million for that roof, okay? That's a, that roof is 28 years old. I knew it when I bought it. I got a thousand units that don't have this problem. Yours does. You know it now. I know it now. That's what it takes. You retrading me? No, I'm not retrading you. I'll pay you the same price. I need a new roof. However you want to do it. My name's Grant Cardone. You're watching Real Estate Investing Made Simple. Big John's going to tell me what time it is. You got a minute and a half left. I'm taking your phone calls 305 865 8668. I don't retrade. Unless I have to. And the only reason I would have to, Robert Sislow, is because you guys didn't tell me something that I should have known from the get-go. Now, you guys knew that damn roof needed to be replaced right away. Why didn't you tell me that in the prospectus? Oh, by the way, as soon as we found out they didn't disclose that, I said, Ben, find out what else we don't know. Oh, no, Grant, we all good. We all good, because Ben believes everybody, okay? If Ben was a little 17-year-old virgin, he wouldn't be a virgin anymore, okay? <laughs> Everything in town would have popped him, right? So because he believes everybody. I said, really, dude, look at that thing where it says poly polybutylene replaced with copper, okay? Find out if that polybutylene actually, which is piping, PVC pipe, has actually been replaced with copper. Guess what we found out? Robert says, so what do you think? Yeah, it, was, it, was uh, it was not replaced with the copper. <laughs> okay. Look, this is a ruthless game, okay? Stay, being broke is ruthless. Working your whole life, man, never having any money, ruthless game. Making money, storing money, preventing yourself from losing money, it's a ruthless game, and you got to know how to play it to win. My name's Grant Cardone. You're watching Real Estate Investing Made Simple at Grant Cardone TV. Stay with me. I'll be taking your questions from around the world. The open road is tough. You need trailers that are built strong for the toughest jobs, construction, and hauling cargo. That's where Ukaipa Trailers comes in. Family owned since 1981, Ukaipa is a company devoted to you with competitive pricing and assisting you in all your cargo needs. And the best part is anyone can use it. Whether you're hauling sports cars, moving, we have it for you. Get yours at ukaipatrailers.com. That's ukaipatrailers.com. Love Instagram? Are you looking to grow your following organically? Let the experts at Digital CEOs with a combined following of over 3 million people grow your followers organically. No bots, no fake accounts, genuine people, real conversations, and go from zero to 100,000 followers in less than nine months. For more information, visit digitalceos.co forward slash Cardone. That's digitalceos.co slash Cardone right now. Do you love Too many Instagram? people are being kept from their dreams by circumstances they couldn't control and mistakes from a long time ago. All they needed was a second chance or a fresh start. That's why Cash Now was created. Since 1997, Ray Abood, owner of Cash Now, has been the premier expert in home renovation 
and resale in the York Tri-State area. Dedicated to premier customer service, getting the best deals at the lowest price, this is the only expert company you should deal with when it comes to buying and selling a home. Offering a five-step home buying process, Ray and his team will ensure your needs are covered and get you closer to your dreams of buying a home in any city across the United States. To find out more on how you can get started on owning or selling a home, visit CashNowPA.com. That's CashNowPA.com to get started. Franchising is a lucrative way to make money. Take your business and allow others to manage it for you while still maintaining control. Take what you have worked hard for and expand it, not just in your local community, but across the United States. Franchising is not just business growth, it's expansion, and we're the experts. We at Transworld Business Advisors want you to give us a call right now, 757-821-3002. That's 757-821-3002. 5-7-8-2-1-3-0-0-2 to let us help you expand your business, make more money, and get the life that you deserve. Cardone, welcome back to Real Estate Investing Made Simple. Allah Akbar! <laughs> it's trending today, and I don't know why, but it can't be good. Okay. Hey, look, we're talking about real estate. Real estate investing made simple. I got Ben here with us. Ben's on the mic. You want to say, let me hear your little voice, Ben. Hey, Grant. What's happening, man? See, that is the voice of a young <laughs> real estate investor. Okay? That's right. This is the voice of a veteran. <laughs> okay? Got me. Uh, we're talking about real estate investing made simple. Today we're talking about the retrade, okay? The retrade is a nasty, nasty word in real estate. By the way, I hope, Ben, uh, I hope, John, that you got the title right today. The retrade, okay? The retrade is a nasty, 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 nasty word in real estate. Now, I never retrade unless, <laughs> unless I have to. And the only reason I would have to retrade is because you didn't tell me something I should have known from the get-go because we live in a world of transparency and authenticity. Now, if you want to know more about how to negotiate like this, okay, because look, it's going to become vital. This particular deal is, how much am I paying for this deal? $31 million. $31 million, okay. I am now retrading, I think we're at what number now? Uh, they reduced it. They give that $800,000 credit. Okay, now I'm going to tell you something nasty right now. I got them to give me an $800,000 of the $1.1 million roof. I got them to agree to do the deal. Captain Ryan sat here one day and said, there's no way they're going to do it, Grant. I said, I guarantee you they're going to do it, dude. Guarantee. They will, they will do it. Okay? Well, Grant, man, man, Grant, everybody's going to freak out. Of course everybody's going to freak out, dude. It's a freaking 800 grand. Okay? Mm -hmm. Of course everybody's going to lose their mind. Okay? Hey, I'm ready to close. I'm ready to close. I'm ready to go hard. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm ready to go hard. You know what that means? That means I'm going to get my money to go real. You know, real estate, real money, right now. Who else can do this? So I'm on the phone with the broker, right? And the broker's freaking out. He's like, there's no way they're going to do that. Dude, okay? I don't need you getting emotional. Tell them. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what they won't do, okay? Here, I'm the only guy on planet Earth out of 7.8 billion people that are ready to buy this deal right damn now, Okay? Okay. Now you compare this little 800 grand or whatever this number is right here. You compare that. My, my offer of $30.8 million. Okay, you're all upset. You're all emotional. You're freaking out like a little bitch. Okay. My offer right here is better than 7.8 billion people on planet Earth, my brother. Do you have anybody else that is willing to do that right here, right now? No. Then don't act like that, man. And don't make me out to be the bad guy, because this was not my idea. <laughs> this is not a retrade, dude. This is not a retrade. This is a roof. And this is real. I'm not retrading you. A retrade is when I ask for a discount for no reason because I thought the price was too high, okay? The interest rates went up, for instance. The interest rates went up between the time I uh, uh, started on this deal and the time we're ready to close on the deal. The rates went up. I could have retraded you on the rates, my brother, but I didn't. This ain't a retrade, this is a roof, dog. So they came back to me and says, we'll give you part of the roof, but you have, we'll put the money in escrow. We're gonna put the money in over here. We'll give you 800 grand. We're gonna put the money in escrow and we don't release that money till you buy the roof. I said, dude, 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 I don't wanna do business with you after this deal. You give me my damn money, 
put it in my damn account, take it off the price, okay? But we're not going to sit in escrow. If I decide 30 days from now I'm not putting a roof on, then I'll do that. It's my business because it's going to be my place and my roof, you understand? So we had to go back and forth because everybody in the retrade gets emotional. Look, none of this matters if it's not going to cash flow. This deal was going to cash flow 7%, 7% from month one, 7% a year from month one, in addition to me needing a roof, in addition to me needing a clubhouse, in addition to me spending a million dollars, actually $2.4 million in this property with the roof. You got to know the game, man. You got to know the game. I'm not trying to scare you out of the game right now, but folks, you got to walk away from a deal. You got to walk away from a deal. You got to get people all jacked up and excited. Grant, they're not going to like you. The, the, the broker actually told me, they're never going to sell you anything again. I said, yeah, so what, dude? Okay, so what? This ain't the only apartment. They're not the only sellers. I would rather them be pissed off at me than me be pissed off at me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let's talk to Mr. San Francisco. The M man, what's up, brother, from the hardest place in the country to buy real estate? What's up, my sister? M, you got to start talking. Hi, hi, hello. How you doing, M? Grant Cardone Good, here. Welcome you? to Real Estate Investing Made Simple. I love you. I love you, baby. <laughs> Yes, so um, just want to say thank you that um, you give such a very cool knowledge and and I've been following you for a, a year now. Yeah, yeah. And I learned a lot. But um, yeah, I have one question about... Um, yeah. I, I know that you don't have any program about real estate to, to learn except this, yeah. this show. What else um, you need, babe? What you else you need? Come on, man. I'm dropping freaking so I'm dropping do you pearls. Do you I, I, recommend people to invest in like any other program like Ty yeah. Lopez is doing? Well, I mean, look, I don't know. I don't know about Ty's program, but I, I, I know this, you know, I don't I don't study anybody I'm not willing to trade my life with. Mm hmm. So before I go look at somebody's real estate book, you know, I'm going to be like, well, how much real estate do you have? Now, I think, Ty, I think Ty and Cole basically do a show on single family flipping. I am totally mm -hmm. against the flipping of the house, okay? I see. So, so that's not my game. My game is completely different. I have, you know, I have, I don't know, $500 million worth of real estate right now that's paying itself down every month, paying a little bit of that debt down every month, man. 30 years from now? I know that I'm going to have a half a billion dollars worth of real estate. If I never have any appreciation for the next 30 years, I'll have a half a billion dollars of real income producing <laughs> estate, okay, paying the taxes, paying the maintenance, buying the roofs off. But I got to make a good deal. Thank you, M, for calling, okay? Look, man, read anybody's book on real estate, folks. But what you need to do is you need to walk the property, look at the financial statement, look at a roof. I knew I had a roof problem when I looked at the Google. The Google map showed me I had a roof problem. I'm like, man, there's a lot of seagulls flying through Boynton Beach right now. Because I had white stuff. I thought it was little seagull droppings all over the roof. Well, it's not. It's damage on the roof. This roof is 28 years old. Should be good for another 12 years. Uh-uh. No, it's not. That roof needs to be fixed now. They're spending money on it. I had four bids, man. I got a lot of money and time and energy invested in this deal. I looked at 100 deals to get one deal under contract, only to find out these guys that sold me this thing were trying to sell me this thing. We're trying to tear my head off, dude. I'm talking guillotine, Cardone. They were going to kill me until I'm like, dude, I need you to buy that roof, man. And once they gave me the roof, then I said, you know what? I don't know, man. I don't know. Stay with me. cash flow, other streams of income, and you know how important multiple streams of income are. Have you ever thought about making money online with zero money to start with?
Let the expert Coach Gianni help you do this. From Amazon sales to banner advertising, monetizing your website effectively so every click makes you money. Build an online brand that sells and make money off of your website starting right now. Coach Gianni offers comprehensive, simple coaching of how to make money online, how to monetize your website, and come out on top in an arena where everybody's trying to get position. Go to CoachGianni.com forward slash cash flow. That's CoachGianni.com forward slash cash flow to get started with making money online mark in your neighborhood with a lasting impression a professional landscape can deliver that and more and the man to bring it to you is steve griggs awarded the national best of house and client satisfaction in 2016 with clients such as dr oz and the palisade center mall in west nyack steve griggs is new york's best landscape designer this isn't landscape design this is lifestyle design for more information visit stevegriggsdesign.com that's stevegriggsdesign.com Hey, welcome back, Grant Cardone. We're talking about the retrade on real estate investing made simple. The, the, the lighting, the lighting, is the lighting good over there where y'all are? Or is it just me? Okay, okay. Uh, every Monday, every Monday I come to you and talk about business. Did we ever, did, did we ever figure out the, the, the uh, microphone thing and the phone thing? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. And uh, today I'm talking about the retrade, okay? I'm talking about retrading a deal. I had to retrade a deal. Why do I retrade? When do I retrade? Somebody didn't tell you something. Somebody didn't tell me mm-hmm. something. Now, I've had other people try to retrade me, right? I was, buying, I was selling a deal in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I told Ryan, I said, this guy's going to come back for a retrade. Sure enough, I could tell by the timing. I could tell because they weren't moving fast enough on things, okay? As a seller, when I get retraded on, okay, you got to understand that there's three cycles. There's a cycle where you get everything you want. There's a cycle where it's kind of questionable. And there's a cycle where you got to just take it. Sometimes you give it. And sometimes you take it, okay? So I was in the part of the cycle where like, I'm like, dude, whatever, bro. You want to retrade me? No, 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 we're not retrading. Hey, man, whatever. Call it whatever the hell you want to call it. I ain't doing it, okay? In fact, the next time you call me back for this property, you're going to pay more if you don't close right now, okay? Now, notice on, in both occasions, I'm strong. I'm, I'm, I'm negotiating strong. Why? Because I'm in the part of the cycle where I don't have to sell I'm in the part of the cycle where I don't have to buy, right? It's the flat spot where you're like, I don't know, where am I at right now in the cycle? You have to know where you're at in the cycle. Can you walk away? Can you walk away from a buyer? Can you walk away as a seller? Can I walk away from this deal? If I don't buy this deal, it's going to cost me $4 million in taxes. Because what I'm, the money I'm using to buy the deal is called the 1031, okay? The way I was justifying the 7% return, which is different, by the way, than what I've told y'all to look for, 10 to 12%. The reason I justified the 7% return was because I'm having a harder time finding product and I'm taking a bunch of money from an exchange, putting it into this deal, and I thought I was good until I found out about what? The roof, the parking, and the polybutylene, okay? It wasn't one thing. It's never one thing, by the way. I always tell my sales team, nobody... Nobody doesn't buy because you say one thing or do one thing. It's always an accumulation of things, okay? Now, I know I'm giving you a lot of data today. What I'm really talking about is the retrade, okay? If you have questions, call me, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. By the way, the guy that retraded me in Charlotte last October, November, Mm -hmm. came back in February and paid $2 million more than he offered me in November, Mm -hmm. okay? okay? These people, these people agreed to the roof. And then I said, you know what? I'm tired of the deal. Took too long, bro. You guys tired me out. I'm taking it as a bad, like a, like a, like a, like a, it's called deal fatigue, my brother. I'm sick of the deal. And you know what we did? I said, Ryan, call the guy up and tell him we'll offer him $28.5 million. And by the way, that's a retrade. Mm -hmm. You tell him it's a retrade because I'm just tired. So there's two times when I retrade, when I have to, and when I'm just being a dick. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Amara. Amara, what's going on, Amara? What's go- hey, what's your question, Amara? Turn your phone off and ask me your question, or turn your, your, your audio off. Hello? Yeah, yeah, how you doing? How you doing, wonderful? Good, good. What's your question? Thank you for calling. Hello? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? Hey, Grant Cardone. It's Come. Amara, not Amara. <laughs> uh, Amara. I love it, man. 
Thank you, man. Thank you, man. It's like my second time calling in. Like I'm so, I'm so freaking obsessed right now, man. Do, I do, have a few let, questions for you, and I yeah. want you to answer them for me, please. Okay. All right. So my first question is, I want to know um, what are the benefits of a nonprofit in real estate? I mean, you know, man. I mean, what's the benefit of a nonprofit? I don't know. Yeah. I, I I hate the name. I mean, I just. <laughs> I can't even imagine going. It's like getting a handicap ticket for my car. I mean, even if you handicap, you don't want to tell anybody, do you? You're right. Thank so, you. so the the non. I I don't know that there is an advantage to the nonprofit for buying real estate. Interesting. All right. All right. My second question is: So I've been digging in deep on your book on sell or be sold. Like I just bought it like last week, and like. I've been so into the book. It's just amazing. Every page, literally, I took notes like I'm in school. Yeah. Because like, in Africa, you don't get that. But in America, you know, it's so much opportunity. Yeah. And I'm, I want to thank you for that. Yeah, but thank I you. I you know, on, on, on the book, because um, on the chapter, chapter three, you said that um, there was a time that you went fishing. Um, and then you went, like, door to door. Like, you had, like, ice melting down, you know, stuff like that. And then there was a pitch that you used. And I actually wanted to know the pitch that you actually use. Like, like, can you like talk talk about it, if you don't mind? Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, why don't you do this, man? Why, why don't we get his number and call him back about that? Because I want one of the salespeople calling back. Because I want to keep this real estate focused. Okay. All right, all right, no problem. See, see, notice though that what I'm doing with this retrade the whole time that I'm talking about today, this is a sales pitch. Okay, buying real estate is about selling. I have to be able to sell. Okay. Now I happen to know on their case, these people bought this deal for $27,600,000. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's right. Okay. I'm paying, I'm offering 28.5 right now. They're not going to do that. They're like, dude, I'm not, we want more than 900 grand in profit on this deal. They've only been in this deal five or six months. The point of that story is this. I need to know everything about the deal. Okay. You got to, got to know where you're at. I got to know what other stuff is sold for in the market. Less important than anything. Mm -hmm. What things sell for in the future is more important than what things sold for in the past. I need to know whether it's going to produce income or not. I need to know about the worst month it's ever had. I need to know what it's going to cost to replace the roof. Worst case scenario, best case scenario. How long is it going to take to replace the roof? What about the clubhouse? What do I need to spend on the deal? I go in, remember what I talk about all the time? Worst case scenarios. If you, don't remember, if you haven't seen the show on the worst case scenarios, go back and look for where I'm talking about worst case. I think we have like 15 of these shows, worst case scenarios, how we buy things, how I run a business is based on WCS. What is the worst case, not the best case? What's this thing going to do? How long is it going to take me to do it to replace a roof, a clubhouse, to fix the place up? What if I can't do any of that? Okay. Got to do your homework, folks. Real estate can be a place to get, get your game on sick. That's why I tell you, do not buy anything less than 16 units. If we were sitting down having a fireside chat the way me and Damon John are going to do at the uh, 10X Growth Con, if we're just sitting around shooting the, shooting the, the thing, the diarrhea, if we're just sitting around shooting the, shooting the, shooting the, shooting the, shooting the, shooting the, you know, you say, man, how many units should I really buy? Dude, you shouldn't touch anything under 30 units. You know why? Look at all the work I'm doing. Look at everything I'm telling you right here, okay? I'm probably not going to be able to buy this deal. I got a lawyer involved. I got... 192 units that I got to pay somebody to have walked through and taken photos of. I got Ben's time, Ryan's time, my time. Okay. I've done a title search, planning search, all this energy to find what this is one deal. I had to look at a hundred to get this one deal to walk away from. I've had the deal underwritten by multiple banks. Dude, there better be some meat on the bone. You understand what I'm saying? So when Ryan says, Grant, why are we walking from this deal? I said, Ryan, if if we weren't going to save $4 million in taxes, I'm going to owe the government $4 million in taxes. I, I sold the deal, made $15 million on it. I'm going to owe $4 million in taxes, okay? I got the $15 million sitting in a bank account right now. <clears throat> Why am I buying this deal, okay? That deal for $30 million. Ryan, how much can I make on the deal? Can I make $2 million? Right? Am I going to sell it for $32 million down the road? Am I going to sell for 34, 35? Dude, what am I doing? I'm, tr I'm, I'm, I'm protecting 4 million to make two. Is it worth all the time and energy? So at some point you got to ask yourself, man, what are you going to make on the deal? Is it going to be 7% for how long? 
You got to understand that you're at some part of the cycle where the, the value of the property doesn't go up anymore. It just stops. It already made a spike and then it just stops and does this for a while. And that, that, that while could be for how long? Years. It could go sideways for years and never increase in value. And you're just stuck there. It could drop for a while, right? That's right. It could drop something cataclysmic, geopolitical, some, is, uh, some issue, some problem. Interest rates could go up and things go down in value until what? They do that for a long time. I got to hold that thing. So what if the 7% goes to 0%? Mm -hmm. What if I lose 7%? What if, what if my, my, my rental prices, my, my rent goes down from 1300 that I need That's there right. down to 1100 because of something happens? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Bad things happen to good people, man. Okay? Are you ready for it? What if I got to fund this deal for three or four or five or six years? I'm like, hey, man, do I still want this thing? I got that roof problem. No, I put a new roof on. I'm good. Oh, I got a new clubhouse. I'm good. Oh, my parking looking sweet. We got a decent location. And all of a sudden, seven years from now, that polybutylene blows out. Polybutylene is PVC. The water pressure adds up. And I start getting leaks all over the place. And I'm having to fix freaking tubs and floors and walls. I'm like, man, I don't know, man. I think I'd rather pay the Sam, the Uncle Sam, man. So you got to be able to walk away, man. You got to know when to get up off that table. Like Kenny Loggins said, know when to hold them, know when to fold them. But please don't give yourself a facelift like I did. That's what Kenny said. Kenny what? Not Kenny Loggins, Kenny. Kenny. Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Kenny Rogers, man. That guy could sing, but man, I tell you what, he picked the wrong face surgery. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby from Teke. Bobby from a Teke. Y'all glad to have me back? I'm glad to be in the chair, glad to be in the studio. By the way, this is probably going to be our last show in this office, right? We're going to be moving our offices. Uh, Bobby from the Texas. Ooh, Bobby. Dr. G. Come man, on, baby. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Come baby. on, dude. God. Let me ask you, brother. Have oh. you got, hey, Bobby, have you gotten your 10X growth con ticket yet? Yeah, no. Rocco, Rocco's lined me up. I'm coming for five days out to Florida and going to be, uh, you know, carrying, carrying his cane, you know, and his pen. Yeah, you're going to need to carry his cane, dude. Yeah, you know, so, uh, man, I'm jazzed about that, you know, for the, uh, the listeners. Uh, and he turned me on to 10X 2013. I've, my problems have been just getting bigger and bigger every year. Thank you so much, uh, because that's uh, you know that that's that's what 10X gets you bigger problems. So I flipped some houses. You know, uh, I'm, I'm real estate. Also do health insurance. Just some some niche with the Medicare flipping the houses. Uh, but I'm all in the apartments, the uh, millionaire mindset. I'm just stacking the money now for the for the big move. My question: um, I'm getting I'm at about 140 now, trying to get up to about 200 thousand. It gives me some good position uh, apartment complex here in Houston, uh, Sugarland, Richmond, Rosenberg, some definite nice little areas and giant growth out here in Fort Bend County. I've got a potential partner that uh, I've done uh, quite a bit of business with. Should I should I Try to work with my two, my 225, or bring in his, you know, 250, 275, and we go super large. Yeah, dude. Uh, I, I heard I, what you just said about yeah. 16 or 30 apartments. So Yeah, I, I, I think I'd try to pick up his quarter of a million and go with his money. Now, what I, would be, okay. what I would be concerned about, there's nothing wrong with partnerships, folks, as long as you got the right partners and the right deal, right? So what, what I would do on his 250, man, is promise him some kind of return on that 250, but one of you has got to make a decision. One of you has got to be in charge of the deal. So if he wants to be a 50-50 partner, just say, no, dude, that never works. Okay? Yeah, now we're, I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, going after his six or 700,000 with my 200,000 and letting him run, you know, letting him run 60-40. I got the, he's got the resources and um, really the connections, whereas I've got the sales experience, you know, 20 yeah. years uh Car sales, 10 years, 15 yeah, years, real yeah. estate, 10. And then, and then, Bobby, what I would do, bro, is I would, I, I, I like that idea even better, man. I get a million dollars to do a deal for a four million. What you need to be really careful of in Houston is the cycles. Okay? Yeah, no, the I, I, was, I, was on, I was on it three years ago when you were talking about it, and I've, I've done nothing but try to educate myself on it, and you're, you're exactly right. There's yeah. some... Dude, because they because buy apartments here. Yeah, the pro the problem in that town is they can build anything at any time, and nobody really knows what anything costs. So, uh, the other thing I was thinking about Houston this morning, if you can get core Houston, man, 
I, I, I know you're talking about Sugar Land, but buddy, if you could get down to Montrose. I'm talking heights. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking being able to, to buy some properties off. What, what about even where they're tearing down these $60,000 houses, building $3 million houses on the, on the lot next door? The access that I could buy, because I'm, I'm going after the gold nuggets, the people that own the land that are going to sell it to, to uh, one of seven snakes trying to get it from them, they're going to see the, the lamb come in. Yeah. And I'm going to get the deal, and I'm going to dominate, and we're not going to compete with other people. We're going to pay stupid price, like I tell my clients to. If you want a house that there's seven offers on, we don't we don't compete with any of these people. Yeah. And we, yeah. Don't let the real, we don't let the realtor make the decision for us. We put it all on paper, so that seller says, just like you said, You've got my money today. This signature. Let's move. Nobody else. Yeah. Um, great, great. Thanks to you. Hey, for, Bobby. For thank training. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. See, Bobby's making a good point there, folks. Look, it, it, this Boynton Beach deal. I don't mind paying a price. These guys have seen me overpay for stuff. We just closed two deals. I didn't retrade anybody for anything. When do I retrade somebody? Unless I have to, or or or. Dude, the deal just has gone on so long, I don't even want it anymore. The only way I do want it is at a certain price, okay? So that's the only two times I retrade. You do not want to be known as a retrader, okay? You guys, that like you read, you read uh, Art of the Deal, and Donald Trump talks about the 13th inning negotiations or 12th inning. He just comes in and negotiates for a better price. Look, you don't, you, don't, you don't actually want to buy things where they negotiate on price. You want to buy that trophy in the neighborhood because it's always a trophy. In bad times, it will always be the trophy, okay? In the good times, it's going to be the trophy. You want to buy that thing that you never want to sell. That's the ultimate thing. Judd from Cali. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Good, man. Thanks for calling in. Appreciate you calling in for the show. Hey, I appreciate you answering. Uh, big fan of yours. Actually, uh, I just want to let you know, first of all, I'm a car salesman, and uh, that's how I started learning about you. Here, on like any lot I've worked on, you're you're. You're a big talking point along the time. Uh, I just want to let you know, so I've also started real estate classes, and I'm on, on my way to hopefully start selling real estate. Uh, my question is, just like the car business, it took me a year or so to learn the shortcuts and what to avoid. What should I do so I don't waste any of my time starting in the real estate business? Dude, quit talking about your time, man. Be willing to waste your time, you know? I know everybody. I don't want to waste any time. What else are you going to do? Go sit in a lazy boy. So every, you're wasting time. Everybody's wasting time. You got 24 hours. At the end of the 24, it expires. You don't get to do it again. So how do you want to invest your time? So so I would just quit talking about how to waste time. There's no shortcut, bud. Okay. The shortcut. The shortcut's going to be learning. The, the, you you'll know when you paid the price when you know. You'll know because you know, not because somebody gave you something. So when you know, you know. Okay, Robert Sislo will know what he knows when he knows it. I don't know when that is. I don't know how long that takes. You know, whatever it is in life, man, it's like you know when you know. Okay, if you walk on the field and know you're going to win because you know your playbook, you know the opposition, you know what they're going to do, you know the next play, you know whether you're running it, they're running it, you know the defense, the offense. Dude, if you know, you know. And if you don't, if you don't, you either know you're going to the 10X Growth Con or you don't. I'm going. Okay. So everybody else is just, you know, you're like, uh, uh, uh. dude, that's what's happening to you every day, man. Please don't walk across the street right now because somebody's going to hit you. Make a damn decision. I'm going to the conference. You don't need to know when it is. You don't need to know where you're going to stay. You don't even need to know where the money's coming from. You need to know you're going to. You guys that are buying real estate are looking at buying real estate. You don't need to buy it this week. You need to know you're going to buy real estate and you're going to take your time over the next, whatever, three months, three years, 30 years. You're going to start accumulating that stuff. Nobody cares that I spent three years looking at real estate and didn't buy anything. You know what? The banks say, dude, you got, you got 4,000 units now? Nobody says, why'd you spend three years looking at real estate, not buying anything, man? What's wrong with you? Cause I was trying to get my no on dog. K N O W. Okay. Let's talk to Shane train from New York. The Shane train. Choo -choo. Oh, we lost him. Okay. Hey, so my name's Grant Cardone. Every Monday we come to you, talk about some real estate. Robert Sislow, not the Cisco <laughs> is in the house with me today. Okay. 
This show brought to you by Grant Cardone TV, also bringing you the 10X Growth Con. Who's going to be at that 10X Growth Con? Robert, who's going to be you there, Tim man? Tim Grover, you got Tom Cummins, you got Tim Story, I don't Jay have Abraham, a list. Les Brown. Dude, the list is the ridiculous, list is okay? Ridiculous, Come on, man. Dude. Where's that list at, guys? Les Brown. Tim okay. Grover, who else we got going on over there? We've got, we got Les oh, Brown. Oh, there's a photo in front of me. Kevin Harrington, Kevin Harrington. Andy Frisella, Jamie Shanks, Gloria Mayfield Banks. Uh, Damon John is going to be there. Victor Antonio Lewis House, Chelsea, Chelsea Cross, Cross, Danielle Delgado, Roddy Chong, Tom Cummins, Roddy Chong, Bobby and Castro. Bobby Castro. Who else? JJ Jacatelli, Brad Lee, Elena Cardone, and the GC. Man. That wall right there represents almost ten billion dollars in sales last year. Ten billion. These are real people, real business owners, not just authors and experts. Okay, these are this is some extremely talented people. In addition to this list. You get to spend three days with me. Three days. In my entire career, I have never spent three days with an audience. Three days uninterrupted. What would you pay for that? More importantly, what would you get out of that? Right now, these tickets, they're $2,250. Okay, they're on sale right now for $1,500. It is tax deductible. If you can't make it, I'm going to give you a credit at my store, so in case something happens with the kids or a parent or work or you couldn't get here or the weather, dude, I'm going to give you a complete credit at the store and stream it to you for the same money. Listen to this. Frank Kern, you're going to get $3,000 worth of one of his best-selling programs, free included today. A $5,000 program for Jay Abraham's Business Strategist Elite, and you're going to get Fundamentals of Selling, a $1,000 program included as a bonus when you pull the trigger today for 10X Growth Con. Your ticket's going to look like this. I'm going to mail it to you. I need you there. I want you there. The economy wants you there. Your God wants you there. Trust me, or you wouldn't be hearing this right now. Why you think God gave you ears? to hear me tell you about the 10X Growth Con, just keeping it real, okay? All right, so you gotta decide what you're gonna listen to. More importantly, you gotta decide who you're gonna spend your time with. Folks, I got three days with some of the most talented people on this planet. You tell me how would it, would it hurt you to spend three days with people that produced $10 billion in sales last year? How would that hurt you? Okay, all right. Hey, thanks for joining me today. If you got any questions, post them in comments. I'll do my best to answer your questions tomorrow. We're doing a book review. Love you. Thank you for watching.